I'm Tracy Prentice of Montague, Mass, and I'm going to show you how to make a table in Microsoft Word 2007. When you want to insert a table into a document, you need to position the insertion point, which is the blinking vertical bar, on its own paragraph. So you position your insertion point where you want a new paragraph and press the Enter key. To insert a table, you go up to your ribbon and you click on the Insert tab. You'll find a group labeled Tables. When you click on Table, the Insert Table menu comes up. You highlight as many columns and rows as you would like in your table. When you click, you're in table, your table is inserted into your document. To move around the table, press the Tab key to move forward, and hold down Shift while pressing Tab to move backwards. To add text to a table, position your insertion point in the cell or box where you would like to see some text and type in the text that you want to appear in that cell. Don't worry if you run out of room, it'll automatically drop down or word wrap to the next line for you. We can also adjust the size of the columns before or after we have put in our text. If you didn't put in enough rows, it's okay. Press tab in the last cell of your table and you will be able to automatically add a new row at the end of your table. To format your table, go back up to the ribbon and you'll see you have an entire uh, area called Table Styles on the Design tab. This is a gallery. If you click on the small arrow at the lower right hand corner, you will get a bunch of different table designs from which you can choose. Click on the one that has the appearance you most like and your table is formatted. You can make more adjustments to the formatting with the table style options in the upper left hand corner. When header row is checked, the top row, the very first row of your table, will be highlighted in a different format. With first column selected, your first column gets different, different formatting which is bolded or otherwise emphasized. If you don't want that emphasis, simply click the check mark to remove it. Total row will emphasize your total row. Last column will add formatting emphasis to your last column. Banded rows will shade every other row, and banded columns will let you shade every other column. Once your table has the appearance you want, it is done, and you're ready to go ahead and save your document.